Okay, this is hilarious. I, this is actually the third time I've actually tried to shoot this video. Um, the first time I shot the video, I didn't hit the record button. And then the second time I did it, um, my partner's wife, <laughs> she had the vi vacuum going. And so I asked her to turn it off. So here we go, take three, here we go. I'm shooting this video from Kelowna. Um, I just went up and uh, we did a uh, ski weekend at Big White. Um, I'm at my business partner's house right now and check this out. This is his wife's uh, art studio. Look at this amazing artwork. She's so talented. Um, but that's not why I am sharing this video. The reason why I wanted to share this video is to let you know that I went on this trip, the ski trip. And when I went on, well, I'm out of breath here. It's because I've gone up and down the stairs three times to try to shoot this video. <sighs> let me see if I can continue this. On my way to the airport, I picked up this book. It was a fantastic read. And it's uh, this one, it's called The Subtle Art of Not Giving a Fuck. It is a fantastic read if you haven't read it. Mark Manson is the author. <clears throat> and as I read it, there was this incredible idea, this thought that he had in it. And I instantly thought of accountants. I instantly thought of the accounting profession. So here's what it is. He's called Manson's Law of Avoidance. And so what it says is this says the more something threatens your identity, the more you will avoid it. Okay. I'm going to read that again. The more something threatens your identity, the more you will avoid it. And I went, holy crap. This is exactly what's going on with the accounting world. Because I bring the accountant success formula out and I'm trying to show it to the accountants that said, you know, when you, when you implement this, you're going to make more money, you attract better clients and you have more free time. Win, win, win. But then I get these accounts. No, I don't want to do it. No, I don't want to do it. No, forget it. No, I want to stick with what I, I'm used to, my billable hours, and I'm not going to change it. And I'm like, what the hell is going on? Why don't they like this? And then here is the even crazier part. I've worked with numerous multiple partner firms where only one or two of the partners will actually implement the model and the rest of the partners won't. And here's where the crazy part comes in. So I understand it for accountants that don't necessarily believe me. And they're like, no, Eric, I don't think so. The old model. We like the old model. We like the way it is. Okay, fine. But when you're in an accounting firm and you see your partners implementing the model, they instantaneously are making way more money working with better clients and they're taking way more free time off. You would think the other partners would assume and take it on, but they wouldn't. And what inevitably happened is a lot of these partnerships ended up splitting up. So the people I was coaching with, they go somewhere else and the rest of the partnership goes the other way. But I couldn't quite figure this out like, oh, until I read this. It makes so much more sense. Think about it. The more something threatens your identity, the more you will avoid it. So what's happening here is, with accountants is that them being accountants and billing by the hour and doing it the old way is part of their identity. And that's why they don't want to change. And so it's so clear, crystal clear to me now. So I get it. I've been threatening people's identity with the accountant success formula. That's why I piss people off. I've even had, and this is the funniest part. I've had people burn my books, actually take my book, throw it in the fire and burn it because I've said something that's really pissed them off. And I was like, that's funny. But now it actually makes more sense. It's because I threatened their identity because if I'm talking about changing something and by changing that means you have to admit to yourself that your values or the way you've been doing something is wrong. It threatens the identity. It threatens who you are as a person. And so I'm realizing that I'm becoming more of a dark horse in the, shall we call it the guru space. I've been threatening people's identity by saying, Hey, do the accountant success formula change to this new model. So still doesn't change the fact that it works. Still doesn't change the fact you're going to make more money, have better clients and have more free time. But now I understand it. So if you are, if you're implementing yourself, and you're having some hesitation, or if you're not thinking about it, I want you to think about this. Read this book, fantastic book, fantastic read. The more something threatens your identity, the more you will avoid it. Are you avoiding something because it threatens your identity? Think about this, maybe the way we've been doing things is wrong. Maybe we need to change it. And when you do, that's when you grow. You need, we need to change who we are so that we can grow. So there you go. I love this book, Mark Manson, The Subtle Art of Not Giving a Fuck. I love it. Anyways, there you go. I'm Eric Solback and reminding you that when you take back control of your business model, you can take back control of your life. Stay tuned for more success tips to come.